He has made three trips to Africa, one which was to catch and measure crocodiles, and he is an internationally published wildlife photographer, but you didn't know that. But he earns tens and tens of dollars on his photography. <laughs> Without further ado, I present Mr. Kevin Jackson. Good morning. As you heard from Mr. Beer's introduction, I spent a lot of my adult life giving talks about environmental concepts and scientific concepts to students, teachers, and, and park visitors. And one of the things I'm going to do today is, is something along the same vein. In the early 1970s, I worked at a small camp in northern Wisconsin with Steve Van Meter, a leader and pioneer in environmental education. And one of his main focuses that he worked on was a concept called acclimatization. And the idea of, of acclimatization is to see the environment up close and personal in a way that you don't usually see it when you go on campfire programs or walks or that sort of thing. So one of the things uh, that he worked on to get people to really focus on seeing things better was to go on nature walks, but to do it on your hands and knees. So you'd walk through meadows, woods, marshes on your hands and knees with your face only about 12 inches from the surface of the trail you were walking on and that's what you were looking at. Well we're not going to do that today but what we are going to do is apply that same principle to look at some wildlife photography I did this past summer in Tanzania. So we're going to try to do something a little bit difficult here. What I would like everyone to do now is to focus on an 11 minute slideshow, technology permitting, as if it were the ground only 12 inches away from your face. So you've got to really give your attention to the screen, right? And that's hard for us to do, to focus for even 10 minutes on just one set of things. But we're going to do that, and it's going to be like a silent nature walk on our hands and knees, okay? So you're trying to really give your full attention to what we're seeing here. Please make no comments to your neighbors, and concentrate on the slides as the very best you can. And ideally, the slides will come into focus, well, if they end up being slightly blurry, it's kind of a technical thing, and we'll just see how that goes, all right? So try to focus on each slide as it appears. Here we go.
sorry that some of the slides didn't focus there as it was trying to, to load them, but most of them did. But if you were able to really focus, which is something that's very hard to do these days, especially when you're out in the environment looking at things, or even harder when you're in an auditorium looking at, at wildlife pictures. But if you're able to really give your full attention to something, and really look and see what's going on there and not worry about kind of what it is and all of that, then you're able to combine the acclimatization concept with a really, I think, intense viewing of wildlife photography. And to that end, I hope that some of the images will stick with you and I hope that maybe they'll encourage you to go out and try to see the things in real life, uh, different places, that's another whole experience. But it's always the effort of the wildlife photographer to share that information and that feeling that they had when they took the picture with an audience. So thank you for your attention and I appreciate it a lot.